You know, as a dog, it doesn't really matter. This is a reflection captured in dog remembrance. And I've defined dog remembrance over and over. I feel like a professor, an idiotic, stupid dog professor would say, dog remembrance is dogs live every seven years to one human year. You're dead at 15, 18. Like if you were Methuselah, you would live to be 22. Methuselah, on the Bible, the Methuselah lived like 1,084 years, 1,084, maybe it was like eight, 981, maybe no one got to 1,000, I don't remember, they didn't have 1,000 yard rush in them days, but they would in other, you know, coherent or co-season, co-season, uh, what do you call it, uh, when you have a universe uh, in a layer, layers of universe, the di- not, not the divergent, the, not the co-season, not the co-season, not the concise. It's like, if it's a different dimension, it's a layer, it's a universe going on, on right beside your universe, and you can't know about it. But that's okay, it doesn't matter. It wasn't like that. That's the point I was trying to make. It wasn't like that. The man, th- we were sitting around in the big parlor room. Believe it or not, this was a big parlor room. And, and no one could think about it, but it was a freaky-deaky Saturday. Remember what they said in the old days? Uh, it was experimental Saturday. It was like before that, the precursor, the experimental Saturday was Freaky Deaky Saturday. Freaky Deaky Saturday, anything went. Because by the time they did experimental Saturday, they were getting California sober. So one, the old days, the old days, it could be anything. And it was like, you could be, you could have Aborigines come and shoot you with a metal dart right in your throat. It was what they did. It was like, what? They're like, they put on disco music. Like, we're going to disco dance for about 15 minutes. Then we're eating fondue. And then Aborigines that we rented from Uruguay, believe it or not, they're going to come in and they're going to shoot blow darts with metal tips. And they kind of give a narcoleptic kind of a thing. And they're going to, we're going to collapse to the ground. We're going to be out for hours. We're going to get the best snap you ever had in your life. They were like, what? Fondue. I don't like fondue. I was like, they're shooting you in the neck after the fondue, so you won't even remember it. So don't worry about it. Just eat a couple pieces of fondue. That one woman over there, the hot red-headed fox, the foxy one with the, uh, what would you say? Like she's almost got like a goiter on the back of her neck. That one, she looked, she was wing. Ah, whatever. That's okay. But the main thing, the main thing as a dog, I wanted to just touch on before we diverge and, you know, dissipate. The man, I don't know what he was doing. He was over near one of those big, beautiful windows on the side of the manor house that almost no one goes to. They landscaped it. There's not enough lawn over there on the side of the hill. It tapers off quick. You could play, you know, badminton up there. It's beautiful. You could build a little pool in that place. But for them, it was like, there wasn't enough. It was like a rolling hill to them. So they just put these windows in that you crank, and they come up like, like on the side of a trailer or a, I don't know what you would say, a van. I don't even know. You crank them like a ship. You crank them and they come up like, like they're like shutters. They crank up. While the man was trying to crank up the shutters, he saw a reflection. He thought it was a ghost maybe of his grandma's past. And he said to me, this is the kind of thing I have to bear. I'm like, God bless. I, I can't wait. You know, the Grim Reaper can't come soon, soon enough. You know, if you have to bear up under this kind of crap. The man, he says, I saw my reflection and I think I maybe saw my grandma. Now, bar ye not, bar ye not. The man always said his grandma had a name that if you heard the name, you would love grandma or you'd be pro grandma. Grandma is like a spell to entice you under a grandma name or a grandma thing. Who knows what will happen if you had a weird youngish grandma. Some of these grandmas, like 41-year-old grandmas, you know, 38-year-old grandmas. You come across a 38-year-old grandma in, in, you know, western Kentucky. I mean, in the foothills where they're a little more wild. That's a thing where you might get into some trouble. The man, he saw his reflection. It's almost like he thought he saw apparition. It came to him that he would say my, my the greatest, most beautiful grandma name in the history of the world was, and he was going to say it, but then he didn't because he was going to wait. And he strode out onto a stage one time, and he said, maybe my time has passed, and this will never even be heard. No one will know it because when I go to press the button, it won't record it because that's the whole thing. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But if ever we were there, 
and we had to give this person's name, and you would say it was the grandma name, the definition of grandma name, what would it be? And you would pray. It would be recorded, and it would be, you know, held for posterity. It would be Hazel. Hazel is the name.